hey hi hello so i have a new light as we can see in my glasses and in my eyes so i apologize for any glare but i'm blind without my glasses so this is the start to vlogoween week two so a quick update i did finish my best friend's exorcism by grady hendrix i listened to the audiobook this is a book group book yes the group book for team haddonfield for the camp crystal lake readathon i am on camp haddonfield which is crystal's team crystal from bomb book reviews so i finished that last night i gave it a 4.75 star rating um it's my second grady hendrix and i will say that i liked the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires better than i liked this one but this one was really cute and nice and i liked it so 4.75 stars i also got my gold version of verity in the mail this morning um i have not read the new chapter yet because i'm going to be reading it to <laughs> rainy and Brittany at some point um over like facetime so I'm really excited for this. I love that I have this gold copy. It has my fingerprints all over it um, because this cover is like matte. So like there's no way to not do it, but that's fine. Um, can't wait to add this to my bookshelf. Um, I also have like the original cover, the green cover as well, but my sister has that copy. So yes, I am in love. Okay, so today I'm going to be starting I believe it's called The Weight of Blood. The Weight of Blood, yes. So it, that is a BIPOC carry retelling. I'm going to be starting that. I believe it's YA as well. So I'm going to be starting the audiobook for that today. I also have the ebook um, from the library, but I think I'm just going to return the ebook and just do straight audio. Um, so I'll be starting that today. Um, I also have my first Blackween Athon sprints tonight at. I don't remember what time they're at. 8, 8 p.m. I think. I think we're going from 8 to midnight. Uh, by the time you see it, th those will be over. But I am doing sprints for Black Week on every Tuesday night from 8 p.m. to midnight um, Eastern Standard Time. So those are the plans. Also, it's tripping me out that I can see this ring light. But at least the lighting is better now this way. And also, I will use the use this light on sprints. So that's basically all my update. Um, I don't really know what else I'm going to be reading other than that for this week. I think Brittany and I are starting our buddy read of Home Before Dark, but we won't be starting that until probably Thursday um, because we were reading that for the weekend ween. That's what it's called, right? Hallow Weekend. There you go. Hallow Weekend a thon. So those are my updates. So when I start. Weight of Blood, I will try to do an update. Hopefully this week will go a little bit better than last week because I did not do well at updating. And I'll see y'all in the next clip. Hey, hi, hello. So Ari is about to pick out of six books for my pick a book in the dark prompt. So I've laid out six books, which put that down for a minute, which I'll turn around so you can see it so she can go ahead and pick a book, go. Okay. All right, so this is the book that Ari picked. This is The Dollhouse by Sarah Ennis. I do not have an audio for this. There isn't one. So this is what I will be reading for the pick a book in the dark prompt. And I just let Ari pick instead of picking in the dark. And yeah, this will technically be a reread for me, but I love this series. So can't wait to read it. Good job, Ari. Say hi, hello. So I am here to do a small update. So I did end up finishing The Weight of Blood. I did finish that. I finished it last night. I gave it five stars. It is a Carrie retelling and it's very dark. Um, I haven't read Carrie in a lot of years. So I don't know if it's darker than Carrie necessarily, but um, it is written by Tiffany D. Jackson, who also wrote White Smoke, which is also on my TBR for this month. And I have not read that one, obviously. But um, this Carrie retelling is about a biracial 
girl who she's half black half white and she is very light skinned and white passing so her father who she's raised by who is white forces her to pretend to also be white so she basically goes through her entire childhood hiding from people the fact that she is actually black um and so her father hot combs her hair every sunday um so that it is straight so that no one will know and she's not allowed to go to school or go out in the public if it's going to rain and essentially it rains at her school one day when she's forced to be outside and it gives her secret away and it's her struggle of that but it is a retelling of Carrie. Please make sure to read all of the trigger warnings for this book. It's very rough to um listen to i did listen to the audio the audio is really great though because there is podcast element to the uh, to the book so the audiobook has a full cast and has the podcast element to it with sound effects which i personally really liked with this book kind of like i did with a good girl's guide to murder i really liked it with that book as well so just make sure to read trigger warnings there is a lot of triggering material i am actually sitting on my wednesday sprints right now um and i have started the unhoneymooners i actually put three books into a poll on my sprints and let everyone pick and this is the one that won so i do have the audio for this on script i'm honestly enjoying it i'm on like chapter five or something um it's cute so this book was actually gifted to me by crystal as an early birthday present this is her favorite um contemporary romance so i'm hoping to love it i've only ever read one other christina lauren book and i dnf'd it but it was also before the time where i actually liked contemporary romance so i'll be reading this this fills my contemporary romance prompt for my gilmore girls game so this had to get done anyways um i originally think i put in my video that i was going to try to read after i do by taylor jenkins read however i could not find the audio for that and i did not feel like reading a contemporary romance as a physical book so i am like immersion reading this but i switched out after i do for the unhoneymooners or switched out the unhoneymooners for after i do then I will be moving on to The Dollhouse. This is by Sarah Innes. This is my signed copy. Please ignore the fingerprints all over it, but this is my signed copy. Um, this what is for my pick a book in the dark prompt. I had already picked from six books. So somewhere in this vlog, there will be probably after this clip, there will be her picking out my book. And this is the book that she picked. And then I will be moving on to The New Girl. I did not think I had this as an audio, but I do. It is on Scribd. So I will be listening slash immersion reading The New Girl. I don't know what prompt this is going to fill, but it will fit something. This is a YA thriller about a girl who goes to a new school and is accused of murdering a classmate after that classmate is found dead in a teacher's classroom. So those are my reading plans and everything that I have so far. I will do an update when I have finished probably the Unhoneymooners. Um, tomorrow starts another round of Hello Weekendathon. Hello Weekend? Yes, Hello Weekendathon. So I'm probably going to try to get the dollhouse and um the new girl to fit into prompts for that. I'm, I need to look at the prompts and the bonus prompts. But I'm going to try to do that. And I'm also probably going to try to do like a Halloween stack or something for the photo prompt. Um, so that's what we're doing. So that's all I got. And I'll see y'all in the next clip. Hey, hi, hello. So it's been a few days since I updated. So I have a few books that I've read, but also books that I have not read. So I basically did not stick to my reading plans really at all um i did finish the unhoneymooners i ended up giving it five stars it was super cute in my opinion um this is like a super cute rom-com um i stand the main characters honestly and that's it that's really all i have to say about it because like there was really nothing about this book that i did not like um i did enjoy reading it as a or listening to it with the physical book so i listened to the audiobook and immersion read with the physical and five stars it was really really good 
Then White Smoke. I ended up reading White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. She also wrote um, The Weight of Blood. So I ended up audiobooking this book as well. Oh, if you don't know what The Unhoneymooners is, it's this book right here. So this was The Unhoneymooners. Sorry, I should have held the book up. Um, White Smoke. I ended up getting that from Libby and I ended up having like three days before it needed to go back. So I went ahead and just pushed White Smoke up on my list. So I did end up listening to White Smoke. I gave it four stars. Um, this was a pretty good book. It's a haunted house ghost story um the ending was sort of weird i feel like if you're going to read tiffany d jackson read white smoke first and then read the weight of blood the weight of blood was definitely better for me than white smoke but white smoke gave me like the vibes of like amityville horror um it was pretty good it's a it's a haunted house story so i really enjoyed that book uh tiffany d jackson in my opinion I think, in my opinion, no. Tiffany D. Jackson is probably an auto buy author at this point for me, so that's great. And then the last book that I started and finished was The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. I gave this book five stars. I listened to this on Scribd, I think. No, the library. I got it from the library. So I got the audio from the library, and then this physical copy of the book is actually my sister's so I did both this is a pretty heavy hitting book so please read the trigger warnings before reading this but this is about a girl who hopes to bleed red at like a blood ceremony but ends up bleeding gold which is a sign of impurity so that is what this book is and she's like ousted and all of that so please please read trigger warnings for this i will be continuing this series there is a second book called the merciless ones and i will be reading that not this month but soon i will be continuing this series so those are the books that i have started and finished for this week um i will be starting good girl bad blood I also need to read The Dollhouse, but I think I'm going to be getting that on my Kindle. I haven't really decided. I do need to read it because it fulfills a prompt for something. For Camp Haddonfield, it it fulfills a prompt for that. So this week, I'm hoping, I don't have a dollhouse in front of me. It's over there on my shelf, but I'm hoping to read The Dollhouse. I'm hoping to get to Good Girl, Bad Blood. And I'm also hoping to actually read um, the new girl, which is this one. So those are the books that I'm hoping to get to for next week, but that's really all I have for this vlog. So it has to go up tomorrow. So I need to finish editing it, but thank you for hanging out with me this week. Let me know in the comments what you read this week. Um, at this point I have read eight books in eight days. So I didn't read at all today. Like I, I just didn't um read so i will start a new vlog tomorrow probably so that's really all i have for y'all um thank you so much for watching um and if you don't want to tell me what you've read down in the comments you can leave me an emoji leave me your favorite emoji let's do it that way this week and i will see y'all in the next one bye